Today you're going to begin adding other pop-up elements and additions to your pop-up books. So you'll see you'll have a variety of paper and scissors at your table to get started with this. Now there are a couple different shapes that you'll be able to make when you're cutting them out. You can cut out a circle. And then what's cool about that circle is you can cut out a spiral. You can cut out different triangles. Then I could use this piece of paper to cut out other triangles. You could cut out smaller squares or rectangles or really any other shapes. So once you have all of your shapes cut out, you want to start adding those additions to your pop-up book. So for things like these spirals, what's really cool about them is you can start them on one side of the page, gluing this one down right here, and then you can glue them down on the other side of the page. You can weave them in and out of your pop-ups. Now, for shapes that you have like this, you could glue to these pop-up elements, you could glue them to the spirals that you're making, and another way to get them to pop out is to make an accordion attachment. So I have a strip of paper, it can be any color, and I'm going to fold it this way and then fold it back the other way. Once I have it all folded, I want to make sure I reinforce the creases. And I should get something like this. And I'll glue this side down to my paper. I decided that accordion was a little too long, so I cut part of it off. And now I can glue my shape to the top part of this accordion. So now it's sticking out. So this spiral will count as one addition, this triangle will count as another addition, and you want to have at least 10 additions to your pop-up book.